Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss the problems caused by gases in hydraulic fluid. We are going to use the hydraulic fluid in the hydraulic system as the working fluid. And the required properties, even though if you choose, then in order to perform its function properly, it should not be contain any contaminations. And the particularly the gases which will be enter into the hydraulic fluid, and that will cause the some of the problems. And what are the different gases which will be enter into the hydraulic fluid, and what are the different uh, problems associated with that? I am going to explain and discuss here. The gases can present in the hydraulic fluid in three ways: free air, entrained gas. And dissolved gas. First one is free air. Air can exist in a free pocket located at some high point of a hydraulic system, such as the highest elevation in a given pipeline. And the, at the top portion, the air is having the lower density. At the top portion, it will be exist in the form of pockets in the hydraulic system. This free air either existed. in the system when it was initially filled or was formed due to air bubbles in the hydraulic fluid rising into a free pocket during the filling of the hydraulic fluid into the system during that time the free air may enters or it during its operation may forms a air bubbles and that will be rising to the free pocket then due to this free air what are the problems causes to the system free air can cause the hydraulic fluid to possess a much lower stiffness there is a bulk modulus and resulting in spongy and unstable operation of the hydraulic actuator the hydraulic actuator may not stably operate stably perform that one and the, the stiffness also it will reduces and also that it becomes a fluid becomes a spongy and that is the difficult associated with this free air the next one is that entrained gas entrained gas there is a gas bubble within the hydraulic fluid is created in two ways air bubbles can be created when the flowing fluid hydraulic fluid sweeps air out of the free pocket and carries it along with the steam as i told you that one in the free pocket the air is stored as a free air and that can be drawn along with hydraulic fluid during its movements and it will be present in the fluid stream and entrained gas also occurs when the pressure drops below the vapor pressure of the hydraulic fluid if the pressure drops below the vapor pressure of that hydraulic fluid then vaporization of the fluid will be taking place and that will form say entrained gas and here i'll explain that is vapor below the vapor pressure what happens what is the vapor pressure vapor pressure is defined as the pressure at which liquid starts to boil vaporize and thus changes into vapor gas the vapor pressure of hydraulic fluid or any other liquid increases with an increase in temperature as the temperature increases vapor pressure also increases okay that is the property and the vapor pressure what is there at that pressure whenever the fluid reaches it will be get vaporized and that will uh, vaporize the fluid whatever is there in the form of gas that will be enters into the hydraulic fluid as a entrained gas here what are the problems due to this entrained gas entrained gases can cause the cavitation problem in a pumps and valves the cavitation means here at a lower pressure region when flowing through the pipeline the vapor will be formed due to the low pressure low vapor pressure and when it moves to the pumps and the valves where the pressure increases there those bubbles will be get collapse and during collapsing that will may pitting of the surface will be taking place the surface will be get damaged the entrained gases can also greatly reduce the hydraulic fluids effective bulk modulus and resulting in spongy and unstable operation of the hydraulic actuator similar to that of the free air okay that also reduces result 
bulk modulus and also becomes a pongy and unstable operation of the hydraulic actuator taking place. Then next third one is a dissolved air. Dissolved air is in solution and thus cannot be seen and does not add to the volume of the hydraulic fluid. Dissolved air is it completely dissolved in a solution of the hydraulic fluid. And we cannot see that. And also it does not add to the volume of the hydraulic fluid also. And a hydraulic fluid has received at atmospheric pressure typically con contains about 6% of the dissolved air by volume. If naturally, if you receive the hydraulic fluid okay, in, in this uh, usable form, it will consist of about the 6% of the dissolved air by volume. Then, after the hydraulic fluid is pumped, if it is pumped by the pump, the amount of the dissolved air increases by 10% by volume because of the pumping pressure the dissolved air will be enters into that one enters into the hydraulic fluid that will dissolve in the uh, hydraulic fluid and that percentage will be increased say 10 percent then problems caused by the dissolved air dissolved air creates no problem in the hydraulic system as long as air remains in dissolved if it is a dissolved form in the form of solution if present it will not create any problem Okay, then as it is not increasing its volume and also it is not seen. However, if the dissolved air comes out of the solution, it forms it forms a bubbles. It forms a bubbles and similar to that of the entrained gas in the hydraulic fluid and thus becomes a entrained air. If come out from the dissolved uh, form, that will become say entrained air and whatever the problems associated with the entrained air that will be forms here also. The amount of air that can be dissolved in the hydraulic fluid increases with pressure. As the pressure increases, the dissolved air will be increases and decreases with the temperature. As the temperature increases, the dissolved air will be decreases. Thus, dissolved air will be come out of the solution as the pressure decreases as the pressure increases okay that is uh, increases the dissolved air will be increases but if the pressure decreases that will come out of the that solution and or the temperature increases during that time also it will coming out and due to that one it will form say entrained air and that causes a difficulties for the operation that is a spongy formation and also reduces stiffness and it will also that is the uh, operation of the actuator will be changes okay thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment